Okay, calculating square roots. A square, what is a square root? It's a number that when multiplied by itself gives you a specific value. So the square root of the value therefore is that number that multiplied by itself gives it to you. Um, let's look at another sentence here. The radical sign, so the radical sign there is a symbol and it uh, right there and it is used to represent positive square root of a number. This positive square root of a number uh, is also called a principal square root because um, not only does positive 2 times positive 2 multiplied by 2 times itself give you 4, but also negative 2 times negative 2 also gives you 4. There's two square roots. One's positive, one's negative in that case. But the principal square root is the positive number. Okay, and then finding the square root is the opposite. So square root is the opposite, O-P-P-O-S-I-T-E, -P -P -O opposite of squaring a number. And uh, just like the opposite of multiplication is division, the opposite of adding is subtracting. The opposite of square root is squaring, vice versa. Okay, so there's an example here. It, um, whoop, there we go. It says here the example, the uh, square root of 25 is 5, so we could rewrite that square root symbol 25 is is equals and 5. That is the principal square root. Now it's also we note that negative 5 times negative 5 equals 25 as well, but we're just going to talk about in this lesson positive square roots only. Okay, so uh, square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 gives me 25. Uh, and if I just do the opposite, I square 5, in other words, I get 25. Now, find the square root of each. So let's just do some square roots here. And if I'm looking at this first value here, for square root of 49, so square root 49, I can break down 49 to 7 times 7, or, in other words, 7 squared. And the answer to that is 7. Okay. So what number times itself gives me 49? 7 multiplied by itself gives me 49. Let's try another one. Let's do uh, square root of 36. And the square root of 36 is, well, what times what gives me, what times itself? Well, 4 times 9 gives me 36. 12 times 3 gives me 36. But the one we're looking for is 6 times 6. That's one number multiplied by itself. Okay, and so therefore the square root of 36 is 6. And uh, last one here is what's the square root of 2,500? Well, what number times itself gives me 2,500? If I take it, and I punch it in a calculator, I can do it that way if I'm not sure what it is. But um, I don't think we have, oh, here we go. Get our square root, okay. So 2500 and square root, we have square root symbol there, 50. 50 times 50, it says, yeah, so that's, that's correct. 50 squared gives me 2,500. So the square root of, of 2,500, or 50 squared is 50. So there we go. 50 times 50 is 2,500. Now, uh, many number, or some numbers, I should say, have a, a square root that's an integer. That's a whole number or an integer of some kind. But uh, many numbers do not. Most numbers do not. So we need to learn how to estimate. What's a reasonable answer for this? What about the square root of 12? Well, we don't know the square root of 12, but what numbers do we know the square root that it comes near 12, before it and after it? Well, we know that the square root of 9, what times what gives me 9? Well, 3. The square root of the next one would be 16. That's 4. So the square root of 12 is between 3 and 4. 12 is roughly halfway between. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess and say, like a little, this means about equal to, and I think it's about equal to 3.5, about 3.5. I'm going to put halfway between. Well, let's see how close we are and um, get our calculator back up here again. 
And so let's do this. 12 square root, and there's the square root symbol again, 3.46. So that rounds off to 3.5. That's a really, really good answer. We, our answer is very, very accurate. So we've got a little lucky there, but we, we, had, that's a, we made a good practical estimate as far as what it's going to be. And we should get close if we have an idea of those. Okay, so let's try the next one. Uh, square root 66. Let's find two numbers. We do know the square root of one that comes before it and one that comes after it. Well, okay, 65. No, 64. Wait a minute, 64. We don't know um, square root of 66, but we do know the square root of 64 is 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. It's one of our timetables we should know. And what about 9 then? What's 9 times 9 is 81. That should be the next one. That's square of, so 9 would be the next number. It's between 64 and 81, so it's between the square root of those numbers are 8 and 9. The square root of 66 is going to be between 8 and 9. Now, is it about halfway between or what? No, it's actually quite a bit closer to 64 than it is to 81. So I'm just going to guess, say this is about equal to, it's maybe a little wiggly spline, it means about equal to. It's about equal to maybe, just say 8.1, 8.2, something like that, somewhere around 8.1. And so let's try and look at our calculator again and see what we come up with. And so we're going to put in 66 here, 66, and try to get a little more accurate answer. The square root of that is 8.124. So 8.12 is just a little over 8.1. So again, our, our estimate here, our guess, okay, and it's an educated guess though. It's an educated guess. We're just, okay, and it was very accurate. It's really good. And uh, so that's how we do estimates. You basically have to find the number before and after you know the square root of, and this estimate, you know, how far between those two values your square root would be. See which one is closer to. Um, okay, moving on here to an, another topic. Let's look at how to evaluate. And um, these ones here, what we're going to do here is we can use bed mass. Now, the root symbol is, is like a bracket. Okay, this is very similar. Okay, this is, it, it's treated the same way as a bracket. So in bed mass, brackets come first. So I'm going to do this root, root first. So what I'm going to do is the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. Now I can add and get 7. And there's my answer. Okay. So remember, again, the square root symbol is like a bracket. I do it first if it's in a, in a mathematical sentence of any kind. Okay, and so here we go. Let's do the square root of 25 first then because this comes first. So 3 times is root, square root 25. So root 25 is just 5. And then we do the multiplication. 5 is 15. And there we get our answer. We don't multiply apply 3 times 25. No, no. We do root first. Okay, the next one We've got some multiplying and some minus. We've got some roots. Well, the roots come first. So let's do the roots first. I got 3 times root 25 is 5 minus 2. Root 4 is 2. And so next, the next thing I do in bed mass, I'm going to multiply first. So what I do is 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 2 is 4. And then lastly, I subtract and I get 11. And there's our answer, 11. And that's a quick overview of roots.